In this episode, we're going to cover what I consider to be need-to-know information for anyone playing Atlas Earth. And the more time and effort and or money you put into it, the more you need to know this. So please stand by. Hey all you Atlas Earthlings, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here, bringing you another Atlas Earth update. And this is another in the line of videos that I consider need to know information. Information that comes out of the Atlas Earth Terms of Service. Stuff you should know if you're going to play the game, especially if you're going to be putting money into the game. Before we dive into that, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Pass this around to friends and neighbors who may uh, also be interested in Atlas Earth. I would appreciate it. And also, if you are new to Atlas Earth, if you were just surfing around uh, YouTube looking for a play-to-earn game um, that you might like, I would strongly consider Atlas Earth. I've been playing for almost seven months now, and I've brought in almost 140 US dollars, so it is definitely worth looking into. I will leave a link in the show notes as well as the end of this video if you're interested in finding out more uh, about the game, how to play, how to make money, etc. Check that link out. And if you decide that you want to start playing the game, please use my referral code in the show notes. I would appreciate it. Uh, we both get something out of it. Uh, if you use the code, by the time you hit your 11th parcel in game, you will get 200 free Atlas bucks. Um, and I get 100 as well uh, along the way. So we, it's a win-win situation. Appreciate it. Okay, so let's jump into it. Uh, yesterday, well, on a daily basis, I try to jump into Discord and check the official Atlas Earth Reddit to find out news and see what people are talking about and everything. And I saw this conversation, uh, I caught the tail end of this conversation in Discord yesterday, and I saw that uh, Mod Manning had replied to this person, and I don't remember the person's name, sorry about that. Um, but basically, it spurred me to go ahead and open up the terms of service and look into this further, because it was a topic that he answered on, and it seems like it would have great impact on the game and everybody should know about it. So let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so we are over in the terms of service for uh, Atlas Reality and we are under the section 12 uh, about cashback rewards and cashing out. And here are a few key points I wanted to bring up and I'm going to read them directly from the paper so I don't elaborate or anything on those so you can hear the exact words. And as always, I will have a link uh, to this in the show notes if you want to and I would uh, advise you uh, the more you put into the game, uh, more time and effort and especially money, you need to know this stuff. So uh, this jumped out and piqued my interest yesterday. So let's just go ahead and read it. Um, you are encouraged to cash out your rewards on a periodic basis. If you have neither cashed out your rewards nor engaged in any transaction on our platform during the prior 12 months, we will assess an annual maintenance fee of $2 paid via your accrued virtual rent cashback rewards. The first such maintenance fee shall be assessed immediately upon the passage of 12 months of such inactivity and an additional maintenance fee will be assessed at the beginning of every new 12 month period. And then that leads into the next section, which is section 13, account inactivity. If an account has had no login activity in the prior 12 months and there are less than three parcels held by the player, the company reserves the right to close those accounts and return those parcels to available inventory for other players to purchase. Okay, so there's a lot to wrap our head around in this. And uh, obviously when I read these things, I try to look at it from two different viewpoints, right? You wanna look at it from the player's viewpoint because right, I'm a player, right? Um, but you also wanna look at it from a company uh, viewpoint, uh, top down. Um, it's a legalese type thing, but it's also to, um, uh, you gotta look at it, how to best keep the game going and uh, provide best service to those people who are active in the game. But at the same time, when you buy parcels, uh, if you don't necessarily read through this, you think, oh, I could just buy it and go inactive. Well, not so much. Um, so let's just go ahead and talk about this. The first thing is the, um, 
is the fact that uh, new players coming into the game, uh, you know, this is a big game. Uh, it's worldwide now. There's going to be a certain percentage of players who come into the game. They buy a parcel or two, and then they're like, oh, I'm not going to play this. So they put it down, okay? So going forward, uh, that could present, um, you know, uh, somebody else who is active in the game could want those parcels, and they're just sitting there. They're really gaining no no rent or anything because it's only one or two parcels. It's just taking up land uh, that would be better suited putting it back into the game for players to actually use. So that's from a gameplay perspective. I completely understand that. The other thing is from a bigger player perspective, say you've been playing for a year, say you've got a couple hundred parcels and for some reason you just put the game down and you stop playing. Well, after 12 months, there's going to be a $2 fee. That $2 fee is going to be removed off of your uh, virtual rent. And then $2 from there. And you know, uh, to a bigger player, this isn't much because you'd probably get a lot more rent than that. But consider these players are not going to be boosted. They're not actively playing. And um, there's not going to be a whole lot of rent coming in. So over time, um, their rent would basically go down to zero with these fees incurred. Obviously, uh, it's only once a year, but still, it's something to be aware of. And I highlighted this sentence because it bears repeating. If you have neither cashed out your rewards nor engaged in any transaction on our platform during the prior 12 months, they'll assess the annual uh, maintenance fee. So uh, this brings up into my mind because I have not cashed out in several months. Okay, my uh, cash out, it's just been accruing right in the game. I did one several months back just to do a video on it, um, prove that it works and everything, but I haven't cashed out. And I didn't really feel a rush or a need to cash out. I felt it would just accrue and then I could take it out whenever I wanted to. Well, this tells me that I should at least bring it out once a year because this stipulates that you need to cash out and or uh, make another transaction, you know, like buy a parcel or something like that. And I don't know if you need to do both of those to have your account considered active during a year or just one of them. But it's worth, uh, obviously you would say, well, if you're playing, you can you do that in a day or two, you know, um, and that's a valid point. And that's what they're trying to encourage people to be active and trying to set a bar here where um, they can clean it up, you know, clean it up. All these accounts that people may have tried it out and um, are just not playing the game. So put those back into the game for other people to buy. Um, as far as the other fee, I think that fee from a company perspective, and you know, I don't, I'm not speaking for the company. I don't have any in or any discussion with the company, but from a top down, from a game um, company perspective, I would think that that is to just uh, keep those accounts that are, larger, you know, larger than three parcels um, going. And, uh, you know, they're, they're continuing in the game, but they're charged a fee and eventually what uh, accrued rent would eventually come down to zero. Now, could those people pick those back up and start playing again? Sure, but more than likely if they've gone a year without playing that whenever they come back in, they're probably not gonna be much rent left on them. So um, I also will mention that he said in, in, um, in Discord that they had not done this yet. Uh, however, um, because the, the terms of service were changed recently in October and updated. Um, so if you read these before October, I would consider going back and reading them again. Although, let's be frank, over 200 pages, a person playing an app uh, a game is not going to sit down and read over 200 pages of legalese, right? But if you're putting a lot of money into it, you know, uh, you get what you paid for, so to speak. Uh, so there's a lot of interesting uh, topics in here. So I'll say uh, read through it. Um, and I thought this was a valid topic for a video. So I hope this uh, brings some value to you. Think about liking and subscribing if you haven't. And I appreciate your time. As always, this has been Bronze Dragon. Hey, I'll see you in Atlas Earth.